well i told you guys there's a lot of things to review it and i'll be re reviewing it a gaming headset <laughs> and the company is from gaming freaks and not gonna lie i haven't heard them in my entire life and this is one of their headsets and the model number and the model is gh7 geo so i don't know why these gaming headsets have these weird names but still it feels pretty good on the box so yeah let's jump right in so before we start the tutorial i need to talk about one analytic because approximately 80 percent of you guys do watch this video don't subscribe to the channel so if you guys really think this video is useful so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so yeah let's jump right in so okay the box does give us some glance of some glance of it so, so you guys can see that from the behind of it and i actually bought this headset for around um, unpopular ring day sizes so yeah so i'll try to search for a link for the sh for this headset so let's stop with a so so let's stop wasting time and let's jump right in okay from the back they do tell us what these things has inside so it has some leds a breathing led and the color of the headset is black but you guys can see some kind of red accent red accents on it and it's a two meter cable so it's a long cable and it's pure copper cable not sure what's the reason for and it's a US, so it also has a USB and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And actually, it's a splitting, splitting headphone jack. It means one for the microphone and another one for the audio. So let's stop wasting any time and let's jump right in. And there is the headset. Ah, there's no user manual, I guess. Well. That's it for the box, but the box does tell us a lot of things. Well, the packaging doesn't doesn't impresses me, but oh, oh wait, but oh okay, I was wrong. It comes with a single 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, but they do give us a splitter for it for your computer and okay. Well, I don't like to, uh, but the thing is, I don't like colored like this, but some people do see this a bit helpful, but it's fine. So, it does have a braided cable, like, and it's not any braided cable, it's a chunky one. It's a, it's a thick boy with two C's. Yeah. Well, the braided cables are fine, but I wish they could have braided cables until to the USB and also for the headphone jack. Usually these things need to plug it in into a USB for the LEDs and for more external powers. Okay. So there's a microphone inside and the microphone is around this side if you guys can see a bit. But huh so the foam at the top it feels pretty cushioned not gonna lie but but you guys may need to be a bit careful because usually there's a thin sheet of plastic to keep it like to keep in shape so you guys do not to like bend it in a very tight angle or so 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 i'm gonna wear it and they just show us an indicator where's left and where's right so yeah okay it doesn't how can i say it's not that comfortable but still for the hair that i have it's fine enough and for the noise isolation like for the passive noise app for the passive noise cancellation it doesn't black out your no noises around you it does bleed in some noise inside yeah i think that's about it for now so let's plug it in let's play csgo because csgo usually is a good game 
to sound where are the enemies are so yeah let's jump right in so this headphone is quite an easy one to plug it I don't think you guys can use for mobile games because it does need some external power but you guys can use a power bank for the external power but I am going to use to my PC and I'm going to plug it into the voice splitter to audio to all uh, no wait ah uh, audio and microphone jack so so let's jump right in well there's some RGB that I kind of like it not gonna lie so let's test the sound and wait while I while I did this thing I just let's start recording and see my atrocious CSGO play. so the recording is live right now and I it's a bit Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh yeah, I, I was bound to get killed there, but uh, the volume knob, it's not great, like, it's so rough, so, yeah, so, yeah, I can see somewhere, sometimes using a single gun is, single pistol is better, I guess, uh, yeah, we use a uh, yes. Oh my God! Someone. Where are they? What did I do? <laughs> Side arm. I got one pistol kill, but for the headphones, it doesn't sound that bad, but it's a lot loud so let's get into the table and i want to give my final thoughts on it so yeah let's jump right in so how's the headset it's good but it's not that good there are some downsides one is the knob it's rough okay it's not a butter smooth knob it's not a great knob has my sudo s D1003 headphones but still it's a fine enough headphone and by the way I haven't tested the microphone yet so let's test it well hope these headphones work without a USB cable well this is the headphones microphone and I hope it sounds good tell me in the comments down below whether you like it or not so so overall this headphone is quite recommendable because it's a cheap one but if you guys need some bang for the buck gaming headset just try one of these so that's been it guys thank you for watching guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and tell me in the comments below what if you thought of it guys if you're new to this channel guys don't forget to subscribe more more and i see you guys in the next one talk to you guys later and hope you guys enjoy